Okay, guys, you're going to need your dumbbells, kettlebells, um, balls as well. It's quite a challenging one tonight. We're doing one minute on 30 seconds off, but we're doing each exercise twice through. Right, so feet to the centre, toes out to the side. Make sure your heels match so you'll be shoulder width apart. Bend your knees ever so slightly, have your shoulders down and relaxed. Engage your core. I'm going to start rolling my shoulders backwards. My toes are white, so they're so cold. Three, four, bring in that knee bend. Make sure you have a really good warm up. Heating's gone on now. I've lost count. Okay, one arm backwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other arm backwards. Oh, both in jumpers. Mm. <laughs> we won't be saying that. <laughs> six, seven, eight. And other arm forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and another one. Three. <laughs> Six, seven, and eight. And I can't remember what it is. That's really bad. And I forgot the next thing at the beginning, so we'll do that now. Sorry, everyone. I think it's my five o'clock starts now from school. Uh, slowly killing every brain cell. I'm going to do this over and over again during half term until I get this right. And I should have learned this by now. This is why I never cut out as a ballerina because I could never remember any of the routines. Okay, back to centre. Look down. And back up again. Look down. And back up. Slow you down. Back up, one more, slowly down, and back up. So we're going to go into our knee bend again and just roll the shoulders. I know we've done it already. So we'll just do a few shoulder rolls before we go into our twists. Okay, so arms out to the side. I'll go forward a bit and twist your whole body round. My head has been slightly chopped off. Every time you twist that body round, feel... Feel the warming up of your body all the way. Feel that stretch from side to side. And one more each side. Okay, so we're lifting up one knee over to the side and touch with the opposite hand can actually do this this week. We are making progress. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, we're gonna hold it here. We're doing quite a lot of leg work today, finally. And just move on to the other side so we can feel that stretch in our groin. And back to the other side. Other side. And one on each side. And again. Okay, we're going to go into our flat back. I've got to start my watch. So you're going to roll the shoulders forwards. All the way down. Hands on your knees. Make sure that back is arched. Arms out to the front. Into your flat back. All the way round to the back. Back to the front again. Hands on your knees. And roll back up again. Roll the shoulders out before we go down again. So shoulder roll forwards. All the way down, just hold back and lock your knees and just feel that stretch all the way down your hamstrings. 
with our arch back. Okay, go into flat back position, arms behind, back in front, hands on your knees, and arch your back, slowly roll back up again, roll the shoulders out. Okay, two more times, shoulder roll forwards, arch your back, feel that stretch in your hamstrings, and into flat back, round to the back, arms back forward, onto your knees, and slowly roll vertebrae by vertebrae back up again. Roll those shoulders out. Okay, last one. Forward, arch your back. Roll down, hands onto your knees. Arms out to the front, so push that bottom back. Arms around to the back. Back to the front again. Hands on your knees. And slowly roll the body back up. Okay, we are going to stretch out our calf muscles. So roll your shoulders forward and we're going to walk out in front of us. We're going to pull back. So your ankles are trying to touch the floor, your heels, sorry, are trying to touch the floor. And just hold that position. Okay, gently go into a pulse. Now remember, do this really gently, especially if your calves are very tight. And toes in. So your heels are facing out. Okay, heels in and toes facing out to corners. So warming up every different area of our legs. Let's your calves. And back centre. Okay, pull that back and hold. And back. Okay, and we're going to gently walk ourselves backwards. Holding that stretch all the way back up. And slowly, let's break by vertebrae, roll yourself back up. Roll those shoulders. Okay, we're going to go into the prone position now and do our eight alternate leg lifts. Hopefully this week I can do these. Okay, so knees bent, core engaged, shoulders relaxed. Roll them forward. Roll slowly down the body. Hold that stretch all the way down. And gently walk your hands forward into the prone position. So hands underneath the shoulders, bottoms down, core engaged. In your own time, eight alternate leg lifts. I can do them. Not running paid off. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Eight. And your last one, I want you to pull back again into that calf stretch. And walk yourself slowly back up. Roll up the body. So we're going to go lastly into our squats. So we're going to do um, standard squats, toes out to the corners and then wide sumo squats in second position. So four in each, and we're gonna go down. So bottoms are stuck out. I'll go to the side. As such, I raise my toes to make sure my weight is in the back of my, back of my feet, so my weight is all in my heels. And toes out, or arms out to the side. So it's harder to go as far down with these ones, but still try to aim to have your heels on the floor with your weight bearing on your heels. And sumo ones, so big second position. One, two, oh, that one wiggles. I won't go far down. Three, 
and four. Okay. Excellent, guys. We are going to need um, any form of weight you have, more dumbbells um, or a kettlebell, completely up to you. We're definitely going to need some water. So we're doing one minute on, 30 seconds off, and two lots of each activity. I'm going to take my jumper off. I think I'm going to need to. The first one we're doing, I'll demo it quick before I put the music on. So I'm going to do it with my kettlebell. I think I'm going to use a six to be safe. We are lunging back on one leg. We're coming forward into a squat and then we're going up into a shoulder press and bringing it down. So we're doing one leg first. So back into a lunge, forward into a squat and up into a shoulder press. I will go backwards so you can see me. I'll get the music started. Take my jumper off. I'll count you in. I'll tell you when halfway is done. There you go, Ted. Not my jumper. Okay. So pick which leg you're going to use first. Three, two, one. Okay. So we're lunging backwards. Squat shoulder press, all in your own time. So make sure you're breathing and you're really doing those controlled movements. This is a full body exercise. Now realistically, you shouldn't even need to move one leg off the floor at all. So halfway, it's up to you whether you want to use a weight for this one, how low you want to squat, make sure you're squeezing those bottoms on the way up, three, two, one, okay, have a rest, grab a drink, I think we'll leave eight. I think. Depends how weak my leg is. One. Okay, well, that's the bad one. But I'm bearing it on that one, so it should be okay. Okay. Get ready to go. You're going to sort of lunge back on your other leg now. Okay, off we go. Into a squat. Remember, you don't have to do this quickly at all. If anything, the slower the better. It's like I haven't done any like, proper weight work for so long. Really squeeze those bottoms when you go back up again. So squat, squeeze as you lift. Engaging your core will help you with your shoulder press and stabilize you over halfway. We're gonna get quite hot because the heating comes on at six o'clock. <laughs> so if you start roasting, let me know. Okay guys, have a rest. Always finish the exercise. <laughs> okay, right, next one. Grab your dumbbells. We are doing front raise with squat times four. So one, those four times. And then we're doing sumo squats. Four of those, arms out to the side. And we're doing, after that, dropped one. So just follow me. One, two, three, Four, into sumo squats, arms to the side. One, two, three, four, into drop squats. So arms down, and as you come up, roll those shoulders back. How many is that? Three. 
Four, back into normal squats, arms forward. Two, three, four, sumo squats wide, four of these. Three, four, three, two, three. Okay. 30 seconds rest. Hold well on, guys. I think I need to get some heavier dumbbells. Back in two kilograms. So mine are only 1.5s. So those of you working with 1.5s, you're doing the same as me. Ooh. Right, heat is come on. So we're doing hot Pilates. People pay lots of money for doing hot Pilates. <laughs> Okay, get ready guys, Three, two, one. So, front raise squats. Into your sumo squats, arms wide. Four, into your drop squats. To the beginning, halfway. Three, four, into your sumos. Two, three, four, and down. Okay, have a rest. I'm just going to do two more. <laughs> okay, right. That's one more. Sorry. <laughs> Next one, we are simply, I say this, lunging around the room. So we're going through to a lunge, torso twist each side, yes. and we're coming back up again. So I want you to be walking all the way around your room, wherever you like, you can do it on the spot. We can go in a circle, ready? <laughs> And we're off at the same time. I'm getting so around the room. <laughs> oh no, I just, I, whenever I walk, I forget which leg I started on. We're just like twice the health, aren't we? <laughs> Even better. Halfway. These are all in the rehab. Minus the weight. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Well done, guys. Have a drink. 30 seconds off, and we'll do that again. Whew. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. What time ready to stand a minute? Okay, so lunging around the room with your torso twists. Get ready to go again. <laughs> Three, two, one. Off you go. So we've got a banner coming, everyone. New banner to put on these massive bookshelves that says Wessex Fitness Pilates on it. So next Thursday, oh, you're on holiday. You're gonna miss the banner. <laughs> you can replace me. We'll go back to hiding on the sofa. <laughs> we will have a banner that looks very professional rather than Baby pictures of Maria and I. <laughs> Nearly there, I hope. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. 
Oh, more legs, I'm afraid, guys. If you want to use a weight, you can. I'm going to show you without a weight. So we're going into a lunge to the side, to the side, curtsy. One leg, half a minute on the other, on the other leg. I'm going to use the six. Okay, so just look at the legs. Lunge, out, out, curtsy. All in your own time. Now, if you have any knee issues, just do the curtsy squats on their own. And if you lose your balance, like I just did, because I wasn't concentrating on engaging my core, concentrating on looking at myself <laughs> instead. <laughs> You should be able to feel this very much so in those glutes. We're halfway. Ouch. <laughs> if you need to have a break, I completely understand. Whew. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have a break. Three. Two, one. Oh, ouch. Very easy to stop breathing. I don't know how you're because talking. you're concentrating so much. That's why I get out of breath so quickly because I'm trying to talk at the same time. Now, make sure you don't forget which leg you've just done. You shouldn't do it because that glute should be burning. Get ready. Grab your weights if you can. Three. Two, one, okay, lunge, out, out, and curtsy, all in your own time. I hope this leg lasts. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I hope I don't wake up tomorrow thinking, oh no, another week. Now, it doesn't matter how low down you go on these, Work within your means and listen to your body. Over halfway. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Nearly there. My glutes feel like they're going to fall off. <laughs> We've both just gone into robots. <laughs> oh. One, okay. Wow, sorry everyone. More glute work. We're on all fours. Now everything tonight is supposed to be routine based. So four of these, four into leg extension as such, and then four yes, lifting up to the ceiling. So just follow along. One leg and then the other leg in the other minute. So one, two, three, four. Now with extension. One, extend and back in. All in your own time. Extend and up to the ceiling. I don't know how many I did then. Two, three, four. Back to the beginning, all on the same leg. Two, three, four. Halfway with extension. I'm going to start dripping sweat in a minute. If there are any moves that you're unable to do, you can just do the doggy wee position. That is not the correct term for it, <laughs> but it's the one everyone remembers. Okay, have a rest, grab a drink, onto the other leg. Sweating, partly sweating because it's hot in here because mum's put the heating on for six o'clock <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> so if everyone whacks up their heating, we can join in with hot Pilates. Okay. Shoulder width apart, everything, off we go. Other leg. Two, 
three, four. Try and keep your head aligned with your body. Oh, I thought I was going to kick you then. <laughs> I don't know how many I've done. Four. four. Okay, I'll copy you. One, two, three. One leg will always be better than the other leg. So if you think, oh, this is easy. The other leg will stay otherwise. Oh, I have massive piriformis issues on this side now. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, arms. Now, at first, you're going to do one or two of these and think, God, this is easy. It's not. So, we're standing up. We are going front raise out to the side, arm circles forward times four, back in and lower. Then the other minute is backwards arm circles. Okay, so front raise out to the side, forward one, two, three, four, back in and down. So as you're doing this, your knees need to be slightly bent, shoulder width apart, your shoulders are down, your core is really engaged because it's keeping every element of control going at the moment. And remember to breathe. So all in your own time, halfway there. Three, four, back in. I think I need some heavier weights, but I'm saying that now, then I will do round two, and I won't be able to do it. I do not need heavy weights. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I've been swimming too much, so it's making my shoulders like ginormous. And back in and down. Okay, you can put those weights down and have a rest. So we're going to go back up, out, and backwards. Do we do forwards? Mm -hmm. So backwards this time. And you will start to fatigue. If anything is painful, so there's a difference between pain and just working yes, hard. Really. Any sharp pains, you stop completely. So feet shoulder width apart, core engaged, shoulders down. Knees ever so slightly bent. Up, out, backwards. And and down. Again, this is all in your own time. Make sure you're keeping that alignment of your body. So my weight at the moment is centered. My knees are ever so slightly bent. Shoulders are down. Halfway. <sighs> Starting to feel it. And I've lost count on the circles as well. Come on, Sarah. You can do this. <laughs> My arms are so weak. <laughs> it's like lead. And guys, I'm sorry, but we've got so many more arms to do tonight. <laughs> Everything is with weights because I've missed them. <laughs> okay. Oh. Have a rest. Your arms are going to feel a little bit like lead. Ah, okay, we're going straight into another one. So we're doing tricep. You can use your um, dumb, dumbbells or kettlebells. We're going into a tricep. So your weights are over your head. If I show you here, we're lowering them down. And as we lower them down, we're raising our heels off the floor. So I'll go to the side. So. Arms up and down. Okay, so I'm lifting my toes off the floor, and as I raise, I'm doing a um, doing a tricep dip at the same time. So my arms are going like this. Your elbows stay in the same place, and you are just lowering those weights down behind your head and back up again. So as you lower the weights down, you are raising your heels 
off the floor. Now the only way you can control this is by squeezing those glutes on the way up and really focusing on that core engagement. So just as you thought everything hurt, it's gonna hurt a lot more. Three, two, one. Okay, lower that down. Ready for round two. I'll go backwards a bit to see if you can see my arms. Come and read that. Okay. We'll do that. So I'm just holding both of my dumbbells crossed over and have them both in my hands. If you just want to use one, that's absolutely fine. So get ready. Remember, you are going to squeeze those glutes in. Arms above your head. Okay. So lower as you come up. Remember your elbows will not be moving. You are simply lowering those weights down behind your head as you come up onto your toes and back down again. So breathe in on your way up and out on your way down. Halfway. Really squeeze those glutes in, engage that core. Ouch. Oh, I'm wobbling. Okay. Woo, another one done. Right. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Okay, we are rolling down into a press up. Oh dear. Into a T, back into a press up, and into another T. Now, if you want to do them on your knees, that's absolutely fine. I'll end up on my knees on the second round. So, we're walking down the body. We're going into a press up. Coming into a T, another press up into a T, back into the prone, and we're walking ourselves back up again. Incorporate a stretch if you want to. Tense, come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? So lots of triceps and shoulder press today. Ready to bulk over the winter season. Oh, you your best. Oh, no, sorry, I accidentally did too many press ups. <laughs> that wasn't a good choice. If you need to roll your shoulders out, that's fine. Before you go back down. Three, two, one. Okay. Have a break. Grab some water. I'm going to wash my hair again. Oh, Ted's being all cute on the sofa, everyone. He might join in for a stretch later. He's not a massive fan of weights. Woo, okay. Arms are going to hurt for it. <laughs> You've probably done a workout today, haven't you? I'm going to run Oh, I'm going to bike. Okay. Another easy spin for me. And to a press up. Onto the side. Press up into a T, into the prone. Mm. Oh, Sarah's an extra one. <laughs> and roll back up. Back down. Oh, it reminds me of lockdown this and how many press ups you used to do. Yeah. Back into the prone. Back up. Oh, I touched my toes. Ooh. It's incorporating stretching and everything in this. Mobility. Complete. Full works. Now, anything on your knees with this is absolutely fine as well. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, have a rest. 
I'm just checking the next one. Okay, that's fine. It's not too bad. Don't worry. How long have we got? We got enough time. So we're doing that all again. Get ready. So shoulders relaxed. Felt those shoulders, knees bent, and down we go. Into a press up. T. Into a T. Back into the prone. Roll back up again. I think the going down and back up again raises your heart rate quite a lot more than the press up itself. So we're almost getting a bit of cardio in this as well. Over halfway. Someone told mum that her class is easy. <laughs> she got really upset. <laughs> She's like, right, I'm going to make it really hard now. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in competition to see who can make the hardest cards. Okay. Have a rest. Okay, we are on. What are we on? Dumbbells, if you want to. We're on all fours. And we are doing Superman. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now, I don't want you to just raise your leg, I want you to try and get your body as parallel as you can and hold it for a few seconds each side. So, knees shoulder width apart and try and get that body parallel. Hold it for a few seconds and slowly back in again. So your weight needs to be centered and hold and slowly back in again. And on the next minute, I'm going to change them up a bit. Move it back a bit. So try and hold for three seconds and slowly come back in again. One, excellent. Okay, so we are going to do four of those, so two, three, four. Then we're going to do our doggy wee again with our arms to the side and back in. So you could have your arms in as such, shoulder width apart, arms to the side, four of those back into the Superman. So just try and follow along. Woo. Four, three, two, one, so one, slowly in, two, slowly in, three, four, change your hand position to the front, one, this is all about balance, <laughs> two, Information as well. Yeah, coordination. Three. Really engage that core. If you're shaking, so am I. That's fine. Back to the front. Superman. Three. Four. Change hand position. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. I hope you can't talk. <laughs> Three, two, one. Finish the set. Oh. Woo. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. When I planned this, I thought, oh my god, this is going to be really good. Oh, sweats are coming off me. Okay. Leg up. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to come across you. Press up forward and keep that leg up, then we're doing the other leg. So into a press up position, 
all that body weight comes forward, so your nose almost touches the floor. You are in tricep position, so it's not elbows out to the side, we're keeping our elbows tucked in as much as we can. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes of this. No, a minute, then a rest. Then the other leg goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes of rest. In your own time, everyone. We're over halfway there. I'm actually dripping sweat now from my nose and my chin. If you can't raise your leg for the whole minute, don't worry about it. What you can't press up for them, you can. You can do it. Three, two, one. Oh, have a rest. And then, yep, your other leg goes up. And we're in. See, so exactly the same thing again. And I'm just looking down to see. Okay, right. <laughs> yep, everything else is with weights. So just. Enjoy this. Get ready. Three, two, one. Off you go. Try and keep those elbows as tucked in as you can. Really feel that belt across your abdominals so your core is very engaged. Now we want no arches in our back, so you're almost doing flat back as you're going down to the floor and you're pushing all of that upper body back off the floor. Everything hurts. Yeah. <sighs> we well, over halfway everyone. You can do this. I only did two of each exercise. <laughs> One. Okay. Woo. Excellent. Right. Now, if you have a ball, you can use the ball. Sarah, you can use the ball because I'm not stable enough yet to use the ball. We're in tabletop position. And we are doing heels to the floor. Arms in various Places. So arms first are in towards you, then crossed, then up to the ceiling. So tabletop position. One. Where's my ball going? Two. Under you. Under you. I'm doing the bottom. Four. Arms crossed. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> arms up. <laughs> arms up to the ceiling. Two. Three. Four, back onto your chest. One, two, four, three, four. Arms crossed. One, two, three, four. Woo. Ceiling. If you're on your floor, try your best to balance. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> Nearly there. Two, one. Bring those knees into your chest. <sighs> Woo. I'm going to go to the side. I think. <laughs> so you can see me. <laughs> Move the weights out of the way. Grab a drink, everyone. Remember in your tabletop position, if your legs are coming too close to your chest, we want them in complete tabletop. Put your arms out to check they're not coming too far um, towards you. Ready? Off you go. One, two. The further you reach out, the more you work in your core. After four, cross your arms. Keep breathing to the ceiling. On Monday, I'm actually going to try it before we do it. 
<laughs> I said that last week and I didn't. <laughs> I only finished it last night. Over halfway. If everything's shaking right now, then that's fine because I'm exactly the same. Oh my god, it's shaking. If you need to have a break, apart from Sarah, have a break. <laughs> oh, okay. Knees and stress, everyone. Well done. <laughs> okay, grab your weights again. We are doing uh, Russian twists. Firstly, with our feet on the floor. So one, two, three, four. One leg off. Two, three, four. Both legs off. Two, three, four. Back, back down again. I know that was quick, just try and follow along. Two, one, okay, so one, to centre. Three, four. Oh, Sarah, cheese. Oh, I've got my feet up. Yeah, <laughs> not doing that yet. <laughs> four, other foot. One, two, three, four. And down. One, two, who thought this was a good idea? Three, four. And one leg. One, two, three. I'm going to get cramped in a minute. Four. One, two. Are you all quad hurting? Three, yes. four. Over halfway. One, Two, if you need to come up at any point, do so. Two, one. Oh, okay. And breathe. So, if you want to make it slightly better for yourself, you can do one, two, and you can come back up again whenever you fancy. Um, we're showing the more extreme side. You don't have to use a weight, you can just do your arms to the side and your arms up um, in front of you, it's completely up to you. Okay, so shoulder width apart. And then one leg. Come on. Head's not bothered. That's a bit time to distract his head. <laughs> yep. Yeah. How long have we got left? Oh, we're halfway. Oh, I've, I've lost, lost the rhythm. Over halfway. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost it completely. Any back pain, come back up again. I'm having a rest. Two, one. Okay, excellent guys. We are doing, now I'd use dumbbells for this because we're going into a shoulder press again for this. So we're doing back tilt lower with our dumbbells. So back tilt lower, hold for three seconds. We're going to come back up again. Arms above head and down. Back tilt, lower, hold for three seconds and back up again. So, knee shoulder width apart, back tilt, lower, hold, one, two, three. Come back up into a shoulder press. Three, two, one. Oh, do we use kettlebell? No. <laughs> Two, three, come back up, hold press. One, two, three. Okay, so it's really important that your shoulders are melted. You don't have any lower back pain. And as you come up, you're trying to have as flat back as you can. So at the moment, we're tilting everything quite forward, so our hips are tilting. And then as we come up, we're stretching our back. Three, two, one. Okay, have a rest. If you can feel it in your quads, so can I. 
for some reason. Can you if you get in the pause? Yeah, we might be pressure and, stuff, and hip flexors as well. Much more that with as well. You can yeah, switch if I need to. <laughs> okay. We've got two more, but I don't think we're going to have time. Everyone's going to be like, oh, shame. Well, we'll add those two next week. <laughs> That's fine. I'll remember which ones they were. Okay, get ready. Okay, back tilt lower. Hold for three seconds. Come back up. Into a shoulder press. Let's go bottom. Did your clock fit okay? You can put the ball behind yeah, you if you need to. Everything's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Even my toes are shaking. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. I say not being able to breathe. <laughs> we'll have a lovely cool down after this. Three, two, one. Excellent work, everyone. Okay, put those weights to one side. Grab a drink. Oh, I'm quite sad we didn't have enough time for those. We will put some lovely cool down music on. Um, not rainy. Right, so can we all stand up really slowly at the end of your mats? Okay, so we're just going to work on our centering and alignment, feet shoulder width apart, bend those knees, melt those shoulders, keep that core engaged. I'm just going to stay here for a second and reflect on what's just happened, because <laughs> it hurts to just bend my knees at the moment. Okay, just roll those shoulders backwards and forwards, all in your own time. So a lot of upper body work. So we're going to focus at the moment on doing some upper body stretches. So reach up to the ceiling. And you're going to bring one arm down as such and pull that one back into your tricep stretch. You'll be able to feel those tomorrow, I hope. Okay, and switch. Okay, this is when you need to work on your deeper breathing. So we're not shallow breathing anymore because we're out of breath, we're breathing right from our diaphragm. Okay, bring that back and one arm cross. Pull that in towards you. I'm not swimming tomorrow, I'm not doing that. I'm not swimming. <laughs> I think my arms are going to hurt too much. <laughs> Might sink. Okay, and bring those arms in a circle in front of you. So one hand on top of the other, or you can link them together. It's completely up to you. And really pull those arms out in front of you with your shoulders still relaxed and look down so you can feel that stretch in your neck as well. Because we've worked a lot of our shoulder muscles, so traps, lats, we've got biceps, triceps, everything. It won't make you bulky though, I promise. It's lean lifting. Okay, and bring that all the way round. Palms of your hands onto your back and pull those elbows in. And really feel that stretch across your upper body and the front of your chest. Okay, walk yourself forward 
And we're going to go into our calf stretch, so pull that back. Okay, you can bring those hips forward, looking up to the ceiling. Some of you will be able to get your hips right down onto the floor. Others won't. And bring that back. Ooh, we've got left. That's fine. Okay, onto all fours. We're going to stretch our back. So arch it up. Hold it just for a couple of seconds and push it back down again. So when you're arching up, your head comes down in alignment with your body. And as you go into your what is it? What's the opposite? Happy, happy cat, sad cat. <laughs> Which one's this one? Happy. Happy. And when you come into your happy cat, your head comes back up again. Why is it happy cat, sad cat? Because Ted does this, so I'm going to call it happy dog, sad dog. <laughs> and he's not even joining us for our stretches, so he must be very cross with us at the moment. <laughs> or he's just absolutely knackered for me today. Okay, bring one leg in front of you, and we're going to do our hip flexor stretch. Those are very important, by the way. I've realised how much you use your hip flexors and you don't realise how much they do for you as well. I couldn't even put my socks on. You have to sit down to put your socks on. You can't get in and out of the car. I feel blessed to have proper working hip flexors every day after that. I <laughs> honestly, I do. <laughs> Life is going to struggle. Okay, and we're bringing that back. Wow. Hold that. We might run a bit over if that's okay. If you need to go, just make sure you stretch your other side. And forwards again. And as we go forwards, we're going to lift up. Just going to do some quick mobility. So one side over to the other side. So really fluid mo movements. I don't expect you to be able to bend your whole body over one way to the other. Unless you're a very, very flexible gymnast. But really just fluid movements. Right, one more on each side. Okay, and then bring that back again. Okay, we're going to bring our body forward into our piriformis stretch. So one right angle, another right angle in front of you, and just lean over that stretch. So some of you will be able to get all the way down like Sarah does, some of you will be like me, and just can't get there. One leg is always better than the other. Come up and swap legs. So one leg in front of you, and really stretch out those hip flexors. Oh, this leg's tight. I've been stretching one side so much that now this one's really tight. <laughs> Do a phone call next week, like I've just injured my other side, <laughs> just as one side got better. Okay, and bring that back. And hold. Oh no, Ted. He's like, it's dental stick time, Mum. <laughs> okay, and bring that forward. Arms up. And we're going again to either side. Now, I don't know what's going to have to give a shorter warm up so we get more of the main set in, or something from the main set's got to go. 
everyone can vote. I'll do a poll on Facebook. But I vote to also warm up. No. <laughs> okay, bring that back again. Okay, into the piriformis stretch. So one right angle. Oh, tweaked it. <sighs> Another right angle. And just lean over. Oh, I can lean over this side. I am. Show us how dirty the floor is, Ted, so that's your fault. Don't apologise, Sarah. Right. <laughs> He's my matters as well. So we are going to go slowly back up on your way back up. Have a stretch of those calves again. And walk yourself up really slowly up your body. Roll those shoulders back. Okay, feet shoulder width apart, relax your shoulders, relax your knees, one arm, hand even on your side, one on your diaphragm. In your own time, just take those really deep breaths. I wonder if anyone's still here or if they've gone. <laughs> it's good for you to do this anyway. And doing breaths like this when you're in bed helps you sleep. So if you're struggling to sleep, have a go at doing these. Excellent. See you later. So, see you next week.